Okay, welcome back. And today I thought I would finally get round and show some figures because that's what a lot of people know this channel for. You know, one six figures mostly, um, Action Man as well. Still got the Ant Toys Psycho, not Psycho. Clock, well, he is a psycho, he's called a psycho. Right, rewind. Yep. Yep. Um, trying to think of what does J Rock do? J J J Rock, baby. J J J Rock, baby. Yep. J Rock. <laughs> Any fans of Trader Park Boys will know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, you're just not going to get that reference. Just think I've had a seizure or something, but anyway, welcome back. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got the clockwork orange figure coming. I was gonna unbox it, but this was sitting in front of me, and I've got a backlog of stuff to get through, so you know, this, this was on the table. So let's talk about it after a minute and 16 seconds. Guyper Man, for those uninitiated <laughs> this is guy per man here and this is the regular dynamic physique uh, go to um other people like the toy boy and gary's action channel you know they'll be able to tell you more about the history me just as a uh, i was going to say oik or a knob i'm just a general toy collector i'm not a historian or um expert by any means in any field <laughs> whether it's toy music video just general knowledge crap um yeah so we've got guyper man <laughs> anyway here and uh, the action man physique i think it was around about 78 say on the back when this was manufactured uh, 78 yeah I think that's when these were about and this one does it, it doesn't have any maker's name it's got some uh, nice like fading like looks like sun faded or something maybe it's just where the, the plastic's cracking because unfortunately um, the hinges the joints this is broken here it still functions it'll still hold a pose but the knee's gone as well uh, it still works again let's show you there the knee joint is not complete but it will still well, it's a bit loose but it will hold a pose you know um so yeah i've got to be a bit careful with this one um i think you've got to be careful with all of them in general really because it's a different type of plastic and construction to the uh, action man physique um, let's start at the top let's start at the top obviously the heads are different a lot of people don't like the um, eagle eye head me personally I do um, I've got a few other action man heads here this one looks like it's been squashed but uh, a lot of people prefer this head the unsquashed look but I quite like it it looks a bit deformed and interesting I got it in a job lot of stuff recently again I could just go through that this one's covered in hair and stuff got some nice original floppy bodied um, action men as I said some people like the eagle eye head I do this is the one I grew up with in the 80s I, uh, I love the action man, eagle eye and the hair, the flocking. And the guy per man shares the flocking, but sadly not the eagle eye function. But again, it's got, uh, you know, now being older and collecting variants and knockoffs and bootlegs and all this sort of stuff. Um, just focus on this guy for a second. Come on, focus there, sort of go. Yeah, you can see it's got this weird 
painted on eyes. They're kind of yeah, they're they're not expertly painted the eyes, but they got a look of their own. And obviously the neck here, the neck post going up, it's got this rivet, rivet going through the neck, like uh, the floppy boyd, floppy boyd, <laughs> the floppy bodied figures. Got the rivet on the neck there. Other differences, the torso, it looks a bit more buff to me. I mean, other people might disagree. Uh, I think the Super Joe in America has got the same physique as this. But yeah, he definitely is a bit, he's been working out a bit more than our British counterpart. Got himself a six pack going on where we've got the more toned stomach. I say the um, the joints, the elbow joints, and the knee joints are a bit dodgy. Also, it's got a different type of hinge here. Where are, and like a whole sculpted arm where we've got the the ball joint sort of thing at the top here. And uh, same amount of movement, I think. I mean, we've got a bit more movement here with this socket here. You can go out like that, where this is it's fixed, so you've got less movement there. But aesthetically, it's rather pleasing. So yeah, he's got the six pack. He's got the blue pants with our boy's got the Action Man logo, and this one's got nothing. You'd think there'd be a G there or something in his uh, G-string. <laughs> his blue pants. He's rocking the Speedo look more than our traditional wear. Uh, panted. Well, it looks like he's got a belt. He's wearing a belt on his pants anyway. Weird design, but we love it, don't we? Uh, so the knee joints different so our regular well i keep saying regular but what we're used to different design um, i know some of these parts are available to replace um can't remember quite off the top of my head but there's a place if you've got a link put it in the thing below I probably won't uh, replace anything on this unless it's easy to do um, the hands also are different we have got gripping hands but they're not they're more they're more rigid I mean they're still pliable but compared to our rubber hands our gripping hands here oh, this one's been chewed by some kid at some point different designed hands so yeah interesting interesting differences to me anyway some people probably not that interested but it's definitely got a height difference get them standing up straight there's definitely a height difference here I'm a bit camp now <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose no disrespect to the guy per man community or indeed any community but yeah you can see there's definitely a height difference face is pretty much the same I'd say except for the eyes the elbow and the shoulder joints and the knee joints, different hands. Even the feet, I think, are slightly different. Yeah. You've got the old riveted style foot there. So, yeah, I know there's a few different. Um, globally, is Falcon. Is Falcon another division of Guyperman? Or is that a separate thing? I haven't got any Falcon 
And then I have got a Dynaman, which is kind of an off branch of or similar type of a figure to the Fairland figures, the knockoff ones. I've got that here. Yeah, I could show you that, but I'll show that in another video. He's, he's a bit, uh, what's the word? Yeah, it's either him or the other one is covered in a bit of um, fiberglass. That's a bit itchy. I don't really want to handle that right now. Yeah, I thought I'd show these. Uh, I've got a couple more Guyper men. I can show in another video. I'll just give you a quick look at all the chaos. There's the two up there. I got off, uh, I think it's Action Annie on eBay. Got a good deal on those. They're really nice figures. Probably too nice for me. Uh, they're really pristine looking examples. Really like the outfits on both of them and the uh, blue helmet on that one. And I always like this look with the, uh, is it the Parachute Regiment? Really cool looking. A nice bearded flock there. And the putties, is that how you pronounce it? Putties, the, they're cool. But yeah, thanks for watching. And that'll be it for this video. Like, share, comment. Well, don't fall over like that though. All right, he's going somewhere else thanks for watching take it easy